Well, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you back to GCW Live. And this time we're going to kick it off huge tonight as the head of the table, along with his two cousins in the bloodline, take on the dangerous faction of evil in the Judgment Day for the opportunity to go six on six against the United Empire at the Royal Rumble for the GCW Championship. That is, if Will Ospreay doesn't lose it to Bane on FAW first. Yeah, and in that case, it would be Bane and AOP going into the Rumble against the winners here. Our opening contest of the night is a six-man tag team match contested under extreme move. Introducing first, the team of the Usos and the Roman Reigns, the Bloodline. The Bloodline have made a statement going into the Tag Team Royal Rumble. A statement that Roman Reigns almost made true until the GCW champion himself intervened at the last possible second. Yeah, Osprey made it personal. Roman was on a quest for the World Championship anyway, but Osprey, as we know him, gotta start beef with everyone. Yeah, and you gotta wonder, what exactly is Osprey thinking as he watches this match right now? Is he preparing himself for the worst, or is he looking for the lesser of two evils in this match? Yeah, but even if he is, I couldn't pick a lesser evil. Both are tremendous trios, and both very dangerous to Osprey's GCW Championship. And Ever since Edge and Judgment Day made their unholy alliance this past WrestleMania, things have gotten dangerous for the roster of GCW. Especially now, after Edge's victory over Roman Reigns, thanks to Will Ospreay, mind you, they are now closer to conquering the entirety of GCW. All that's left is the World Championship, and Jeff Hardy has made sure to stay his plane for the Royal Rumble. He's gonna have to take care of the bloodline first. I'm sorry, I'm so excited. And as you can see, so are the United Empire to see what goes on in this matchup here. Yeah, Osprey watching as we are getting ready for this huge six-man tag team match. And here we go, two of the baddest factions in GCW are going at it, live in front of us all to see. And now Edge looking to take care of Jimmy Uso, but he dumps him over the outside. Such similar to what happened to Evil just a few seconds beforehand. Indeed, Edge landed hard there on the outside. But now what is Jimmy thinking? Baseball slide drop kick, but no. Oh my God, over there to, to, to Johnny Figgs' area. I hope he's okay. Yeah, I think Edge barely missed him. He looks all right. Now Jeff Hardy looking for the twist of hate onto Jay, pushes him back. Oh, oh rebounds into the super kick right to the mouth of Jeff Hardy. And you know how much I hate that guy, so that was pretty satisfying to see. <laughs> looking for that back suplex, but look at this, the ingenuity of Edge, the ultimate opportunist, is now turning Jey Uso into a pancake with that electric chair slam, excuse me. I was about to say that name all wrong. You still did, it's an ele electric chair drop, but anyway. But what hasn't gone wrong is the career of Edge thus far since joining Jeff Hardy, along with Evil. And now he's looking to add the exclamation point. He's looking to end the career of Jay early on in this matchup, spear through the barricade. Uh -oh. Here it comes, baby, wait a minute, what? Jay! Oh! oh my God, pop up into the Samoan drop onto the chair that Johnny Figgs was just sitting in. That was insane. That is not gonna bode well for Judgment Day's chances at going up against the United Empire in the Royal Rumble. Yeah, just look at that. Just think of the damage Edge could have done with the spear, but Usos did more damage to him. Here comes and Hardy from oh. the top! I know Hardy said his daredevil days were over, 
But he's got to dig ah. in deep, just like Evil is with the strength of putting down the Tribal Chief. Yeah, I remember Jeff pulled that one out successfully in the G1 against Lesnar, but now he's going to send Jimmy into the post oh, with the chair. The brother looking to save his kid. Oh. oh, but it doesn't stop Evil from smashing the steel chair over the other steel chair wrapped around the face of Jimmy Uso. I don't know if his wife is going to oh. recognize him anymore. And neither is Jay's family. I'm sure after uh -oh. Judgment Day have their way with the bloodline, nobody's going to recognize these people. And now Evil certainly has some evil thoughts in mind for Jey Uso there. Jeff Hardy, is he thinking Swan Tom through the table? Yeah, I think no. You know, I oh. stood up. Oh, whoa! I looked away for a second there. As now the bloodline have taken the advantage away from the Judgment Day. And all Hardy had to do was his damn job. And now look. He's paying the price for it as he's being made into a table sandwich. He's gonna take more damage. And Jimmy is looking to put the olive on top. Oh, oh my God. God! Through the top table, the second one held true, but Jeff Hardy's body did not. Oh yeah, and he's busted open as well. Dear God. Yeah, that table with the weight of Jimmy Right on the face. Jey Uso checking on his brother as Roman Reigns lays the smacketh down on Evil. Oh, but there says with the big boot. Roman Reigns has quickly become outnumbered. But here comes the cavalry. Oh. The Enzigurian gets a big boot and more boots to come from Edge. The rated R superstar making sure. That Jey Uso is no longer a problem, but Roman Reigns can take care of himself, all right? Oh, the super kick from Jimmy on the outside. Serving Edge on a silver platter to the Tribal Chief. Oh, oh. wait, oh! Look at that, what a counter! And now Edge has the lock hold, oh! Jimmy Uso able to stop that from happening before it got any worse. Oh, what a boot from Roman sends Edge to the outside. These teams have been going back and forth thus far, and I feel like we're long from over. But look, wait a minute, oh! Evil! Oh. Oh, I just had to gloat about it! He just had to turn his back against his opponent, and that cost him big. Look at the strength of, wow! Using Earl Hefner as leverage, wow! Twisting suplex, twisting neck breaker. Stop doing this. But look! Oh! Jay from the top takes down Evil. Evil rolls to the outside to safety. Trying to regroup with Edge here. And now, Jay gets the twist of Edge. Oh! Oh! This is it! by Edge, and this is it for the bloodline! Oh! And now there's Roman! <laughs> My God, I thought that was it! It almost was! Roman to the outside. Edge and Jeff Hardy trying to come up with a game oh. plan, but Jimmy interrupts. Edge O'Matic, here it comes. Oh, but there's Jay to save his brother once again. Say what you want about the bloodline, but their teamwork and recoveries are out of this world. Oh. Jeff Hardy on the outside, very dangerous position when you're going up against the what? Usos, but there's there it is. It's on to Edge. Is this it? Will the bloodline take on the United oh. Empire? No! What a senton from evil! In the last second. I agree with the fans here. This is awesome. And we're only getting started tonight. Roman Reigns yanks evil on the outside. Wait a minute. A little bit of rock bottom action oh. from Cousin Rock through the table. Shades of the Brahma Bull. The Tribal Chief puts down the King of Darkness but not before the Daredevil shows his worth. And now, the rated R Superstar with the edge of Maddox onto Jay. Jimmy is still up though, but he's about to get put down. Locking eyes, oh. edge of kill shot! Perfect position. Roman's down, Jay is down. Hardy's up. Oh. Hardy's up. Jimmy Uso had just enough fight to get the knees up. 
buying himself just that much time for Jay to hit that wicked super kick to the face of Edge. Yeah, now Hardy is in big, big trouble. Jeff Hardy's all alone. The leader of the Judgment Day should be leader oh, of the Oh, what? Oh, no! Spear by Edge! What a no. shot! Twist the height! Twist the height and they're gonna go to the Royal Rumble! Both the Usos are down! They both rolled out of the ring, which was so wise. Here comes Roman! What? Oh, what? My God! Black Jack into the twist of fate! He got hit with the oh. one and done, but it's still not over! Roman Reigns gets the shoulder up! Are you freaking kidding me? That was insane! My God! What is it gonna take for either of these teams to just stay down? But still, Judgment Day in control of the match. Twist of Hayden coming for the final oh. exclamation point. Superman punch to the back of the neck. What an ovation by the tribal chief, the head of the table. Uh -oh. now acting as a one-man empire in spite of the United Empire. Ducks the clothesline, does Roman. Oh, oh, no. oh my god. Oh my god, no. Did you hear the crack of both of their skulls yeah. as, they, as they collided in the middle of the ring? Both had the same idea, and both of them suffered for it. And they both haven't moved since. But look! Oh! oh. Hardy! Twist! This is it! Swan top! No! Oh, that's Jimmy! My God! I am absolutely speechless! These teams just won't give up! Family! Versus the Judgment Day. Who's going to come out on top at this point? I don't even know anymore. I had my predictions coming into this matchup, but they've been bouncing back and forth and back and forth as each member of these teams have been going all out. Now both members, both leaders are down, and Jimmy's the only one that stands. Oh. And there's Jay with the super kick to the back of the head. In stereo along with his brother. Do it now and this is done. Roman Reigns ordering his cousins to finish the job. And what are they thinking here? Planting Jeff Hardy on the top. Oh no. Locking eyes with his brother Dustin <laughs> Jay as Roman makes sure that Edge does not get up to save the leader of the Judgment Day. He's looking for the one and done from the top. If they hit this, what? it's over. What? Evil, wait a minute, making the save. Oh my God. Everything is evil. Wow. Evil showing himself to be the true MVP of this matchup. But look, the Roman. Roman. There's a spear by Roman. Ray Hardy's oh. over. Oh. He's done with another spear. Roman Reigns. Oh. Caught. Ray, Caught. Ray, Caught. Ray, he's got him. Caught. He's got him with the guillotine. Guillotine is locked in onto Edge, and we know the history of the bad neck on Edge. Could this be it? Can Edge fight out of this, or will Roman Reigns and his bloodline go no head to head with the United Empire? Talk back to me, Edge. If you, if you still have to try to check on Edge, is he out? He's not responding. Lord, he's out. It's it. It's it. Bloodline are set to go six on six against the United Empire. Edge passed out in the guillotine. You ask me, the Judgment Day has nothing to be ashamed of. Oh, they definitely do not. But we gotta move on here because I sat down earlier tonight with an interview with a very controversial debut. I sat down with Andrew Tate. What? You, you got to interview Andrew Tate? It should have been me! Drew, you confronted Logan Paul at the Tag Team Royal Rumble. Next thing we know, Jake turns on Logan. And we're all asking, why? Bro, Logan is best friends with KSI, who's beefing Jake Paul. Does that even make sense? <laughs> well, you know, I think that could do it for you. But why did you personally pick this fight with Logan? Logan's an extremely emotional man. And you can see on his face, he's very, very angry and very, very upset at our success. And sits there and tries to say, no, he should be banned. He should be banned. And I was watching it going, the worst thing about this is not what he's saying. It's that he doesn't really believe it. 
Logan is a man who says things that he because he thinks he's supposed to say them, which makes him an agent of the Matrix, makes him a coward. There are rumblings of a big pay-per-view match between Tate and Paul coming up here in GCW. You got any more words for Logan? You are a clown. You are a performing clown. You have no interest in the things my brother and I are interested in. We are interested in the future of humanity. We're interested in allowing people to have open discourse and discussion. We're interested in our children's children living in a world where they're not enslaved. All you care about is keeping your little fucking YouTube channel because you are a performing clown. You are, a, that's all he is. He's a performing clown and he's at mercy. He's at the mercy of his masters and he knows it and he will say anything he is told to fucking say. Look, listen, Brock, I'm sorry. But I can't just give you another world title shot just because you really want it. You had your chance at the G1 Climax, and you failed. You lost to Bane. Now he's the one who's next in line for the GCW Championship. I don't know what you want me to tell you, Brock. I'm sorry. I really am. I can't do it. We are back on the GCW Super Show, and we're getting ready for the first title defense of the Intercontinental Champion, Karrion Cross. Yeah, that's right, and in case you remember, which I, you know, failed to, I'm sorry, Luke, but I kind of forgot all about this poll. Randy Orton beat Zack Sabre Jr., Abyss, Omos, and others to claim his opportunity at the Intercontinental Champion against the current champion, Karrion Cross. Excuse me, I just had the hiccups. Lord have mercy. And you always can't forget, three successful title defenses of this belt will give you a GCW World Title match. A legend killer meets a straight up killer here. Oh my god! Cross already establishing dominance right at the start of the gate. Randy Orton seems helpless here, but look at this, the veteran, former GCW tag nice. champ, on his way to work here. Well, look oh. at this! Oh, oh. he's the ropes to his advantage! Such ingenuity! Ring awareness by the Viper. And look at the way Karen Cross face landed. Now look at this. The Apex Predator. Ready to strike oh. out. Oh. KO. No! Doomsday Saida! What a counter by Cross! Amazingly done. And just like that, they're What? What? What in the hell? Brock Lesnar! What the hell is he doing here? He has nothing to do with this! I have no idea! And he goes right after Cross! And Orton follows suit! He's huge, crippling Jarius! And now Brock Lesnar has what? his eyes set on Big Adderall! No, leave him alone! He's just a really, really old man! Oh! Huge oh. puck knee to the face of the beast! The He's beast out. is a face! The killer is about to get murderized! Oh my god! What a German suplex up to the neck of the Intercontinental Champion! But my question is, what the hell is Brock doing? What does all this mean? F5 to the champ! I am, I am just completely baffled here. Wait a minute. Could this mean that the Brock Lesnar is after the Intercontinental Championship? Okay, now I've seen it all! But... But what if he's trying to use that three title defense stipulation to get to Osprey? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with the GCW World Champion, Will Osprey. Now, Mr. Osprey... Oh, hey, hey! I can smell your country musk plenty from here. So please, back away. I can't have even one of those putrid strands of beard hair infect my beautiful Versace robe. Thank you. S sorry about that. As I was saying, Mr. Osprey, with your once-in-a-lifetime title match coming up with FAW legend Bane, not to mention the six-man tag match waiting for you at the Royal Rumble, my question is, how are you holding up? I mean, you gotta feel like the weight of the entire world is crashing down on you right now. What's gonna happen if you actually lose that belt to Bane? Let me stop you right there. Lose? The world champ doesn't even know how to spell lose. Because ever since I finally got my hands on this title, all I've done is the opposite, mate. Well, until the tag team Royal Rumble, that is. Gunter! <laughs> Sweet Jesus. 
Now get up and finish this interview like a true professional. Osprey. Oh, well look who it is. What brings you here, G? Have you finished smooching that booker woman? I want my rematch. <laughs> Excuse me? What for? F for losing to me? Or is it for losing after G1? Because I know I can beat you. I'm in your damn head. I can see it in how you present yourself, even after everything. All you can think about is how a random deathmatch wrestler came this close to taking that belt away from you in your first defense. Am I wrong? Prove it. You and me. One more time for the big one. And let's try to keep those underhanded tactics to a minimum this time. <laughs> whoa, 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 slow down, Tiger. Ever since I knocked you unconscious with a hidden blade, you've been doing nothing but disappointing the handful of blokes who call themselves your fans. Oh, congratulations, you, you beat Okada, though, right? But that is still nowhere close to my level. I know that I said that you had my respect, but if you think that gives you the excuse to get up in the champ's face and start demanding title matches, then you must have lost your mind. As far as the champ is concerned, you're still at the back of the line. So until you can level up, I got more important business to attend to. See you never! Alright, you want me to level up? How about this? Me? Versus your boy Goofa. Right here, right now. I beat him, I get you. <laughs> you, you think that you can beat Goonta? <laughs> oh, this I've got to see. But, but, even if by some miracle you do win, you're still not getting near this. But I'll keep the stakes interesting just for you, bro. Since the real Royal Rumble is coming up, whoever wins this match will get the number 30 spot. And maybe you'll have that one step closer to getting back in the ring with the world champ. It is now time to see a first time ever matchup right here in GCW Live Super Show. This match will determine who will be the number 30 entrant in the upcoming Royal Rumble. Coming closer to challenging Will Ospreay at WrestleMania, or it could be Roman Reigns. What's a boot there by Gunther to start things off, and Ospreay just can't stop running his yap. Oh my god. He made a statement by breaking the arm of Kota Ibushi, and ever since then, he's had a new aggression. Now, wait a minute, she made it, but still, Gunther takes the fallen king down. G-Man thought he had some momentum there, but Gunther cut it down. Who is me? And Will Ospreay, again, won't shut up. He's enjoying every second of Gunther taking apart G-Man. And that's my question. I'll always root for him, but he has a hell of a mountain to climb here. Gunther, ever since he's come back, has had a new aggression. He's come back with a vengeance ever since Brock Lesnar broke his arm at WrestleMania all those years ago. Get him out of my sight. I never want to see his fucking face again. Uh, hold on, hold on. What the hell is Gunther no, thinking? No, no. Oh, 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 oh my God, I thought that was it. I thought that was it. I was about to jump out of my seat and start twerking on the announce table. I'd be so happy. But it's not over for G-Man just yet. And neither for Gunther as Osprey is trying to comfort him. Oh, that's so cute. Now here comes G-Man. Oh, to the ring, General. Osprey is beside himself, 
What the I don't think he's ever thought of to himself that Gunther would be in this kind of position against my cuz. Oh, G-Man, wait a minute. Oh, of course, Osprey has to open his yap once more. Oh, yeah, tell him what you think, G. Tell him what you think. Tell him about himself. Here comes the airlift their way. I want to catch. Gunther able to catch him. Oh, God, no. Sleeper suplex driving G-Man's neck and spine into the canvas. That's right. That's right, oh, G-Man. The best that cannot bode well. Oh, God. Oh! Last symphony by Gunther, and it's over. What? No! G-Man still kicks out! Hell yeah! That was three. That was three, Rev. No, I don't give a fuck what you're telling me. Shit. Come on, Gunther. Get your head in the game, bro. But even then, you could have the biggest man. heart in the world. But sometimes it just doesn't matter. My God! Your opponent is the ring general. And Osprey screaming in G-Man's face, telling him to give up, but he can't. Ever since he lost to Osprey, he's never had the audacity to give up. As he gets right in front of their face. That's right. That's right, G. Come on. No. Oh! What a boot to the face of G-Man! And now Gunther looking to finish it off. Oh, that Sherman Super but G-Man is back up! Super kick! Super kick to the chin! Gunther is down! He's down to a knee! No! Oh, the knockout punch! Now! Here it comes! Can he get the big man up? No! No! Wait a minute! No, no, not again! Not again! G-Man with the stunner, though! What a counter by G! Gunther is down! Osprey is losing his shit! G-Man! Come to the heavens! Here it comes! No! Oh my god! Gunther just tore his head off! And now, G-Man is about to suffer the contact! Oh my god, on his neck! On his neck! And Gunther is not done! Again! Power bomb! Osprey telling Get Gunther there. that it's not enough. To the top. Gunther has to go up top if he wants to beat G-Man's heart. Oh God. Oh God, if Gunther hits this. If Gunther hits this. It's done now. Oh God, kick out. Oh God. Well, it looks like we know who our number 30 spot is. G-Man fought his damn heart out. But at the end of the day, Gunther, the ring general, proved too much ah, for G-Man's will. I told you, G. I told you. You will never be the GCW world champ because it will always be What is me. next for the Fallen King? And what's going to happen at the Royal Rumble? Main event time, Extreme Championship, Solo Sokoa and Seth Rollins, both factions banned from ringside. That's right, both factions have been barred from ringside, locked into their locker rooms. As Solo Sokoa and Seth Rollins duke it out for the Extreme Championship. And Solo Sokoa showing his superior strength, that Samoan bloodline strength. <laughs> the Messiah, and now ah. Rollins thought he had something going there, but Solo kicked his damn head off. Yeah, turned him inside out, and Rollins now smartly rolled to the outside, but Solo is looking to follow up. Solo Sokoa, ever since debuting at the Tag Team Royal Rumble, has showed everyone just what he's made of. He eliminated Gunther single-handedly with one hell of a clothesline. And if anyone's gonna take down Seth Rollins and take his Extreme Style Championship, it's gotta be Solo Sokoa. And no doubt he's gonna make the bloodline proud once he does so. But Rollins is not gonna let it go This is dangerous. Down. Wait a minute. No. Oh! Powerbomb into the screen. Solo Sokoa might have just met his match there. Yeah. Let's take another look. Oh, look at that. And Solo just dropped onto the stage. 
And you gotta think, all of this has been boiling down since WrestleMania last year, where Seth Rollins beat Roman Reigns, who was, who was thought to be unstoppable when he held that extreme style championship. My God! Super no way! Broken arrow onto the ramp! Say what you want about Seth Rollins, but when he's there to work, he shows out. No doubt about it. Yeah, great run as GCW Extreme Champion here as he's looking for the... There's the ah. stomp! This could be it right here! That could be all she wrote, but no! Solo Sokoa still has the fight left. And now Sokoa retreating to the outside. What's gonna happen here? Seth Rollins sees his chance. Oh, caught! Wait a minute! Oh, oh no! God. Huge Uranagi spinning solo through our announce table. It almost ruined my shoes. Thank God it didn't, though. Thank you, Mr. Trump, for these high premium style shoes here, along to go with my drippy ass suit. I know you noticed it for a whole year now, but uh, JTM is surely noticing that Seth Rollins is in deep, deep trouble. And solo Sokoa thought he had something going there with all those chairs, but Seth Rollins has seemed to find the most dangerous ah. version of one of these chairs wrapped in barbed wire. Yeah, he found the barbed wire one, obviously the most effective one out of all these chairs as he's now setting it up here. And Seth Rollins needs to be, he could be one sadistic SOB, but Solo Sokoa ah. is not gonna let it be with that Samoan drop. Planting Seth Rollins' spine onto those chairs there. And you can hear the thud all around the arena. That was nasty. Yeah, it was. And now he's setting up some chair cons construction here. Oh! What a forearm there to the back of the neck of Solo Sokoa. And now he's in trouble there. Oh. Seth Rollins trying to go for the curb stop, but Solo Sokoa hits the shoulder tackle, knocks the Messiah down a few pegs. Yeah, and Solo avoided disaster there. That curb stomp onto the chairs would have been it. But now, this looks even more dangerous. Now what kind of sick thoughts are going through the Enforcer's mind as he puts Seth Rollins there in a dangerous position? What in the hell? Yeah. Oh. Never mind, Seth Rollins was able to elbow his way out of it. Oh, what a knee to the jaw. And now Seth Rollins, wow, the agility knows no bounds as he found a way to slide outside to grab another weapon. And this weapon is no doubt probably the most dangerous out of all of them. Even more dangerous than the barbed wire chair, if you ask me. Just look at the size of that thing. Earl Hebner's even impressed. Yeah, and Rollins is now setting it up, and Solo is in dangerous, dangerous territory down the chairs. Seth Rollins now climbing to the heavens, just to plummet straight to hell, no doubt, but Solo Sokoa would rather rot in hell than let that happen. And now Rollins trying his best to fight his way through, oh, but now no. Solo Sokoa has no, 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 no. poised for the spinning no. Solo from the top No. those chairs. Oh, oh my, my God! God! who can walk away from that unscathed. Look at this replay, the thud, the fall, everything about this was just disgusting. Yeah, Rollins took huge damage, but obviously Solo as well, falling off the ladder onto these chairs. But he's... Oh God, look at the back yeah. of Seth Rollins. What? Oh my God, no. the United Empire! What the hell are they doing out here? Gunther just had a match with my cousin, and there's Veer taking care of the ladder. Oh my God, he's just a beast. And now Gunther has Solo Sokoa revved up. No. And oh my God, a power yes. bomb onto the setup chair. Very nice, Gunther. The bloodline are completely powerless to stop this. And there goes Osprey, that smug little shit. Give me another one, Veer. Come on. And 
now Veer. Similar to how he took down Brock Lesnar. Oh, plants the steel chair onto Solo Sokoa's spine as Osprey lays out his message to Roman Reigns, who is trying to break through the door on the back. And now look at this, Osprey, no doubt revving up for that hidden blade as Nick Gage desperately trying to break out of that locker room area. Solo Sokoa. Hey, this is hard to watch. He's gonna hit him with the hidden blade, and Roman has got to watch. <laughs> oh, Roman, your family man. This has just you been a mugging for Solo Sokoa. And Osprey. He's basically a James Bond villain at this point, and you know what? I kind of like to see it, even though I hate his guts. Osprey sure knows how to get under people's skin. This was not really a mugging for Solo. This was to intimidate Roman and the Bloodline, and they had to watch all of this as Rollins... Just like that, yeah. Seth Rollins survives to be the Extreme Style Champion for another day. But what have we just witnessed between the United Empire and the Bloodline? The match is set for the Royal Rumble.